50 crazy history facts your teachers are too scared to tell you. 1. In 1325, War of the Bucket was a prolonged conflict between Bologna and Modena over a stolen wooden bucket. This conflict may seem small-scale, but it escalated into a full-blown armed conflict between the two cities. The conflict resulted in significant casualties and continued for several years, and ironically it did not lead to a decisive victory for either side. Eventually, the two city-states signed a peace treaty in 1337, putting an end to the War of the Bucket. 2. During wartime, certain armies resorted to a gruesome tactic of wiping poop on their spears. The intention was to infect enemies when stabbing or slashing them, leading to additional casualties due to infections. 3. Cornflakes were initially developed as part of a vegetarian diet with the aim of reducing sexual desire and preventing masturbation. However, over time, cornflakes became popular as a breakfast cereal, and the Kellogg Company, founded by Will Keith Kellogg, commercialized and marketed them widely, promoting them as a healthful and nutritious breakfast option. 4. The word avocado finds its origins in the Aztec word ahuacatl, which also means testicle. The Aztecs gave the fruit this name because they believed its shape resembled that of a testicle. 5. In 1970, Oregon officials attempted to remove a dead whale from a beach using dynamite. Unfortunately, the explosion went off beam, showering nearby buildings and spectators with chunks of the fat of whale. 6. In the 17th century, as a form of punishment, women would wear muzzles known as branks or scolds bridles. These metal contraptions were locked around the head and sometimes included a spiked plate to prevent inappropriate speech. The use of branks was seen as a means to control and discipline women who were perceived as being too outspoken or disobedient. The practice of using branks as a punishment gradually declined over time, and it is no longer employed as a form of legal punishment in modern societies. 7. In ancient Greek art, male figures were often depicted with smaller-than-life-sized penises. This artistic convention was not meant to be an accurate representation of male anatomy, but rather a stylized and idealized portrayal of masculinity and beauty. The portrayal of male figures with small, flaccid penises was considered aesthetically pleasing and culturally significant. It represented a balance between physical strength, intellectual prowess, and self-control. In contrast, excessively large genitals were associated with barbarism and lack of self-restraint. So are you a stylish individual or a barbarian? Let us know in the comments below. 8. Sir Isaac Newton, known for his theory of gravity, was fascinated with alchemy and spent countless hours attempting to transmute base metals into gold. Newton's interest in alchemy was intertwined with his broader intellectual curiosity and scientific investigations. 9. Mozart, the musical genius, was so weird that he proposed to a woman but later shocked her by making inappropriate demands of licking his butt. What's crazy is, he later ended up marrying her sister. 10. Aeschylus, the ancient Greek playwright, reportedly met his unfortunate end when an eagle mistook his bald head for a stone and dropped a tortoise onto him. This incident opened his skull and he died on the spot. 11. Despite his immense talent, the painter Vincent van Gogh only managed to sell one painting, the Red Vineyard, during his lifetime. The legendary painter felt inadequate and perceived himself a failure as an artist. He often struggled with self-criticism and questioned his own artistic abilities. 12. In the 1800s, doctors would recommend smoking as a treatment for asthma. This recommendation was based on the belief that the smoke from tobacco could have a soothing and therapeutic effect on the airways. However, as medical knowledge advanced and research on the adverse effects of smoking emerged, the recommendation for smoking as a treatment for asthma was discredited. 13. In the ancient Persian Empire, a curious practice involved debating ideas twice, once in a sober state and once in a drunk state. This was done to ensure that an idea sounded convincing and reasonable in both conditions to be considered truly valuable. 14. In 1879, cats were employed for mail delivery in Belgium. The Belgian city of Liège faced challenges with its mail delivery system due to congested streets. As a creative solution, the Belgian postal authorities decided to experiment using cats to deliver small packages and letters. 
Since cats are not used today, it is safe to say that the idea didn't work out as planned. 15. The Austrian army once encountered a tragic mistake during the Battle of Karanzebes. They accidentally attacked and fought against their own forces, resulting in hundreds of casualties due to confusion. 16. In 1925, a territorial dispute between Greece and Bulgaria escalated into a full-blown war following an incident where a Greek soldier crossed the border while chasing a stray dog. The conflict that followed is known as the War of the Stray Dog. While the stray dog incident itself did not directly cause the war, it became emblematic of the deep-rooted tensions and misunderstandings that contributed to the outbreak of armed conflict between Greece and Bulgaria. 17. Pythagoras, the Greek mathematician, held a belief that beans possessed souls, therefore forbade their consumption among his followers. Shockingly, he once killed a person for not believing the mathematical concept of infinity. 18. In 1730s, Parisian printing apprentices conducted mock trials for cats, accusing them of witchcraft and executing them, all in the name of bringing good luck to their printing endeavors. By conducting these mock trials and executing the cats, they believed they were ridding themselves of evil spirits or bad luck, thus improving their chances of success in their printing work. 19. During the American Civil War, individuals could avoid military service by either paying someone else to take their place or paying a fee for exemption. The practice of substitution and the payment of commutation fees were controversial and led to criticism and resentment from those who could not afford to avoid military service in these ways. In response to public outcry and concerns about fairness, the U.S. Congress enacted the Enrollment Act of 1863, which established a federal draft system with new rules on exemptions and commutation fees. 20. In ancient Rome, the punishment for killing one's father was death penalty, consisting of being sewn up in a sack along with a viper, a dog, and a cock, or being thrown from the Tarpeian Rock, a steep cliff on the Capitoline Hill in Rome. In some cases, the condemned person might be beaten to death or executed by a sword or other means. 21. In the 15th century, Pope Gregory IX waged a war against cats, believing them to be linked to devil worship. This resulted in an increase in the rat population, intensifying the spread of the Black Death. 22. In 12th century, two green-skinned children appeared near the village of Woolpit, England. They spoke an unknown language and only ate green beans. Eventually, they learned English and explained they came from a place called St. Martin's Land, a subterranean world where the sun never shone and everything was green. Their account of this world with a giant sun was one of the reasons they were described as having green skin. 23. Back in 1504, Michelangelo sculpted the renowned statue David from a single block of marble, with the original intention of placing it on a church rooftop. However, plans to place the statue on the church rooftop were later changed due to concerns about its size and weight. 24. In 1858, London faced a severe pollution problem in the River Thames, leading to the infamous event known as the Great Stink. As temperatures rose during the hot summer months, the combination of sewage, waste, and warm weather caused the River Thames to emit a foul and overpowering odor. The stench became so unbearable that it affected the entire city, including the nearby Houses of Parliament. 25. During the Cold War, the United States contemplated the idea of demonstrating force against the Soviet Union by dropping an atomic bomb on the moon. The project was developed in response to the Soviet Union's successful launch of the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, in October 1957. The fear of Soviet space dominance fueled the idea of using the moon as a celestial target for a nuclear explosion. Ultimately, the project was not executed, and it remained classified for many years. 26. In the past, there was a belief that blowing smoke up someone's rectum could serve as a method to revive them. The belief was based on the notion that the strong stimulant effect of tobacco smoke on the rectum could potentially jolt a person back to consciousness or stimulate respiration. It was believed that the heat and irritation caused by the smoke would trigger reflex actions and potentially lead to recovery. 27. In 1908, a massive explosion occurred in Siberia's Tunguska region, potentially caused by a meteoroid or comet, 
resulting in widespread shockwaves and the flattening of trees. The exact cause of the explosion is still a matter of scientific debate, but the most widely accepted theory is that it was caused by the airburst of a small comet or a stony meteoroid entering Earth's atmosphere. 28. The shortest war recorded in history occurred in 1896 between Britain and the Sultanate of Zanzibar, lasting a mere 38 minutes. The conflict arose due to a succession dispute after the death of the Sultan of Zanzibar. The British government favored a particular successor, while the new Sultan, Khalid bin Barghash, refused to step down from power. However, the war ended with the surrender of the Sultan's forces, and Khalid bin Barghash sought refuge in the German consulate. The British installed their preferred candidate as the new Sultan, and the conflict was effectively over. 29. In 1977, a BBC news program played an April Fool's joke by airing a report about the Swiss spaghetti harvest, showing people harvesting spaghetti from trees. The prank was well received and became one of the most famous April Fool's Day hoaxes to ever broadcast. 30. Galileo Galilei, the Italian astronomer, conducted experiments by dropping various objects from the Leaning Tower of Pisa to observe and test their rates of descent. He reasoned that objects of different masses would fall at the same rate in the absence of air resistance, which contradicted the widely accepted Aristotelian view, which suggested that heavier objects should fall faster. 31. In 1876, a mysterious incident occurred in a rural area of Kentucky where chunks of meat fell from the sky, leaving residents baffled and sparking various theories about its origin. Though the Kentucky meat shower has been explained by some as a natural phenomenon, it remains a historical curiosity and a fascinating example of unusual and unexplained events. 32. In the 18th century, dentures were often made from the teeth of deceased soldiers. As the field of dentistry advanced, dentures began to be made from other materials, such as ivory, animal teeth, and porcelain. The use of human teeth in dentures gradually declined as more suitable and ethical alternatives became available. 33. Ketchup was marketed as medicine in the 1830s and was promoted as a remedy for upset stomachs. But it wasn't until the late 19th century that it gained popularity as a condiment. 34. The attempt by the Nazis to create a human-ape hybrid through the insemination of female chimpanzees with human sperm ended in failure, with all the animals dying within several months. 35. During the 19th century, women in the Western world wore crinolines, which were cage-like structures worn under their dresses to achieve wide, bell-shaped skirts. While these crinolines were fashionable and visually striking, they could be cumbersome, and occasionally led to accidents, such as getting stuck in doorways or causing balance issues for the wearers. 36. Diarrhea was a prevalent issue in the 19th century, and some people turned to opium as it caused constipation, attempting to alleviate the discomfort. As medical science advanced and more effective and safer treatments for diarrhea became available, the use of opium and other opioids for this purpose diminished. 37. Napoleon Bonaparte, the French emperor, was not exceptionally short, contrary to the popular misconception. He was of average height for the time in which he lived, standing at around 5 feet 7 inches, and he had good personality too. It was a British propaganda, because of which they often depicted him as Napoleon the Little, to ridicule him and diminish his stature on a symbolic level. 38. In ancient Egypt, cats held a position of high esteem and were even worshipped. The ancient Egyptians considered cats to be sacred animals, and harming them, even accidentally, was taken very seriously. There were laws and penalties in place to protect cats from harm. Killing a cat, even unintentionally, could lead to severe punishment, including death for the offender. Now you know why cats have so much attitude. 39. During World War I, soldiers would tattoo themselves to ensure identification, in case they perished during an explosion. Soldiers often got tattoos with their names, identification numbers, or other personal information on their arms or other visible parts of their bodies. 40. The British devised a plan to sabotage German livestock and disrupt their food supply during a certain period by using anthrax-infected cattle cakes. However, 
Some sources suggest that the plan was never fully implemented due to the difficulties in safely and effectively delivering the infected cattle cakes. Others believe that some attempts were made, but the overall impact on the German food supply went unnoticed. 41. Private Thomas Priday, a British soldier, remarkably survived being shot in the chest thanks to a spoon in his breast pocket that deflected the bullet. 42. In 1944, a German officer named Klaus von Stauffenberg attempted to assassinate Adolf Hitler using a briefcase bomb. However, due to an unforeseen change in the meeting's location, Stauffenberg's briefcase was moved away from Hitler, hidden behind a heavy wooden leg of the conference table. As a result, when the bomb exploded, it caused significant damage to the room and injured several people, but Adolf Hitler survived with minor injuries. 43. The Roman Emperor Caligula was known for his extravagant and often bizarre actions during his short reign from 37 AD to 41 AD. He once declared war on the sea and ordered his soldiers to attack the waves with swords and spears. His soldiers even collected seashells as a gift for their victory. 44. Tiberius, the second Roman emperor, was known for his suspicious and often paranoid nature. He invited a friend named Athenodorus from Rhodes to visit him. However, when Athenodorus arrived at Tiberius's villa on the island of Capri, Tiberius reportedly did not recognize him and became convinced that he was a spy sent to harm him. Despite being friends in the past, Tiberius ordered Athenodorus to be arrested and subjected to torture to extract a confession. Athenodorus endured the torture without revealing anything incriminating and finally reminded Tiberius of their previous friendship. It was only after this reminder that Tiberius recognized his old friend and released him. 45. During one of Aristotle's lectures, young Alexander the Great reportedly threw rare incense into the fire, perhaps out of curiosity. Aristotle, recognizing that the incense was expensive and rare, scolded Alexander for his action. The teacher used the incident as an opportunity to teach the young prince a valuable lesson about valuing and respecting knowledge, wisdom, and valuable resources. 46. Qin Shi Huang was a significant figure in Chinese history, known for unifying China and establishing the Qin Dynasty in 221 BC. One day an assassin managed to get close to the emperor and attempted to strike him. To evade the attack, Qin Shi Huang reportedly ran around a pillar repeatedly preventing the assassin from delivering a fatal blow. Eventually, the assassin grew tired, and the emperor's guards were able to apprehend him. 47. King Louis XIV of France, who reigned from 1643 to 1715, was indeed nicknamed the Sun King because he chose the sun as his emblem. He associated himself with the image of the sun to represent his reign's splendor and to convey his absolute power and authority over the kingdom. 48. Charles VI of France, also known as Charles the Mad, actually suffered from intermittent psychosis during his reign as the King of France from 1380 to 1422. Charles VI exhibited various symptoms of psychosis, including running around screaming until exhausted. There were instances where he had no recollection that he was married, which created confusion and difficulties in the royal court. 49. Emperor Hirohito of Japan who reigned from 1926 to 1989, was indeed considered to be a divine figure in the traditional Shinto religion before and during World War II. However, after Japan's defeat in 1945, the country underwent significant changes under the direction of the Allied occupation forces, particularly led by the United States. As part of the process of demilitarization and democratization, Emperor Hirohito was required to renounce his divine status and declare himself a mere human without any divine attributes. 50. Emperor Nero, the ruler of Roman Empire from 54 AD to 68 AD, was indeed known for his passion for music and theater. Nero had a great desire for recognition and admiration, which led him to force his audiences to listen to his performances and applaud him enthusiastically, even when his singing was terrible. It is said that he would often participate in public musical competitions and insist on winning, using his power and influence to sway the judges and secure victory for himself. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed them. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Which fact amazed you the most? Let us know in the comments below.